The U.S. State Department has just released its annual Trafficking in Persons report. It is an assessment of how nations around the world, including the United States, are handling efforts to combat modern-day slavery. Here at CNN, we have joined the fight to end this global scourge. Let's bring in Jim Clancy. He's in Washington. Jim, the highlights, please. All right, here's a report, all 418 pages of it. It's a massive tome that goes through 188 countries or so, taking a look at the record of each one. And the headline here is that three countries that have had strong relations with the United States, not always great relations, but Russia, China, and Uzbekistan, who were seen on the Tier 2 watch list for years, have now been automatically downgraded to Tier 3 countries with the worst record, not doing really very much of anything in order to improve their record on human rights on the fight against human trafficking already we're seeing some of the groups that are involved in all of this come out and say it's a tough report but it's a fair one it is one that is really looking at the reality on the ground somebody here uh, in washington that's long fought for uh, the fight against human trafficking is congressman chris smith he joins us now congressman you. if you can come in here how do you <coughs> see it the u.s really pulling no punches here. A lot of people no, thought that they would just let this slide. They didn't. Uh, there was a worry. I actually had a hearing a few months ago focusing on countries like China where human trafficking has exploded in large part because of their one child per couple policy and the missing girls and young women who have been exterminated through sex selection abortion. Sex trafficking has exploded. Uh, there is such a lack of we're women. In, we're in worse shape today we are. than we have been in past years. This report downgraded China. more countries, two yes. to one, That's over right. the number of countries that it upgraded. There's no doubt that there's been a deterioration despite excellent efforts on the part of the United States and other countries and a lot of faith-based NGOs as well as secular NGOs that have really been saying this modern-day slavery has to stop. Labor trafficking is on the rise. Sex trafficking is getting worse. It's demand-driven. And I think that's what came out of China. Because there's of the missing daughters, as we call them, uh, the, the brokers for the selling and buying of, of brides, uh, which is, like which is really prostitution. Right. Well, in China especially, yeah. but Tibet, all over. Uh, North Korean women who make their way over into China are trafficked almost on a one-to-one -one basis. I mean, it is outrageous, and the government has done Do think, almost nothing, the government of China. Are you uh, concerned mitigating. that the U.S., that the State Department has gone too far, that they're really taking oh, this fight? No? no, we can't do enough. There could be a backlash, though. Let there be a backlash. This is all about victims. Let's empathize. What if that were my loved one, my brother or sister, my wife, uh, or me, or any of us, especially when it comes to women who are subjected to the cruelest uh, exploitation raped every day uh this country can't do enough and this book this trafficking in persons report which really comes out of a law that i did in 2000 the trafficking victims protection act i was the prime sponsor uh makes it very clear that we're going to speak truth to power we're going to hold countries to account for whether or not they're on the side of combating this or whether or not they're indifferent and enabling it. And in many cases, there is actual government complicity, like in China. On labor trafficking, they've run gulags that make slave labor made goods. I was actually in one with Congressman Frank Wolf back in 1992. And we saw Tiananmen Square activists, human rights activists, that were in concentration camps making products that ended up on our shelves. Uh, jelly shoes, socks for export. Uh, so the labor trafficking right, and sex trafficking is, is, is outrageous. This book pulls no punches. Congressman Chris Smith, want to thank, thank you very and, much. And, and I congratulate Secretary Curry. Uh, he has really gotten behind sure this one. fully. All right. Thank you.